Hi friends, today I am going to talk on Snowflake. So, what is Snowflake? Why organizations are migrating to Snowflake? And what are the advantages of Snowflake over traditional RDBMS systems? And what are the new features available in Snowflake? So, let's start with uh, what is Snowflake? Snowflake is a cloud-based warehouse unlike other on-premise data warehouses. It was founded in 2012. Snowflake offers data storage and analytical services at low cost. Currently, Snowflake runs on Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP Cloud Platform. As Snowflake does not have, have their own infrastructure, Snowflake can be hosted on any of these three cloud providers. And coming to why Snowflake? Why Snowflake? Because there are many benefits and new features available in the Snowflake Cloud Warehouse. The first one is Snowflake offers pay for use pricing model. That means we have to pay for the time that queries are running and no need to pay when the session is inactive in Snowflake. But the storage cost is different. Again, which is very low because of its columnar and compressed storage. And as Snowflake is a cloud-based platform, there will be no infrastructure maintenance cost. Uh, <clears throat> Snowflake is not only a data warehouse, but also it has the capabilities of ETL and ELT tools. We can transform data, we can create data pipes, and also we can create visual dashboards. And Snowflake is a highly scalable in two forms scale up and scale out scale up means we can increase the size of the warehouse when required in general the size starts from xs x small and we and we have sizes up to 6xl and scale out means we can increase the number of virtual warehouses those are the actual processing units this will help to avoid the queuing of our queries and there are many other features like data recovery, cloning, data sharing, and data protection. And also we can easily integrate the Snowflake with the visualization tools and reporting tools. It's very easy actually. And now let's see the differences between traditional warehouse system and Snowflake cloud warehouse. So, to maintain traditional warehouse, lot of infrastructure cost is required. But as Snowflake is cloud based, there is no infrastructure cost at all. In general, traditional warehouse stores only structured data and it cannot process semi-structured data. We need ETL tools if we want to process semi-structured data. But in Snowflake, without using any additional tools, we can easily process the semi-structured data. This is one big advantage in, in Snowflake. And if we want to load the data into traditional RDBMS systems, again, you have to make use of ETL tools. But in Snowflake, we can do that easily by using a simple copy command. And as I mentioned earlier, it is very easy to scale up or scale out in Snowflake when compared to the traditional warehouses. So the scalability is very high in Snowflake. And coming to database administration, it is highly required in traditional RDBMS systems. Like we have to create indexes, we have to create primary foreign keys, and we have to create partitions. But Snowflake has inbuilt mechanism for performance optimization with its micro partitions and cluster keys. Let's see the other features available in Snowflake. Uh, in traditional RDBMS systems, if you want to take backup of the data, so you need additional storage cost. But in Snowflake, we have a feature called cloning, where we can maintain multiple copies of data with no additional storage cost. And when it comes to the data recovery, so in uh, traditional uh, data warehouses, if you delete any data, or if you drop any 
tables are databases by mistake. It's very difficult to bring back the data. But in Snowflake, we can easily bring back the data by using a feature called time travel. And we can bring back the data up to 90 days. But there is a little cost associated with the time travel feature. And there is one more mechanism called failsafe mechanism. This is also used to bring back the deleted data. And the data sharing in traditional RDBMS systems is very difficult. While in Snowflake, we can easily the sh easily share the data with other Snowflake accounts. And if you if we want to share the data to non-Snowflake users, we can create reader accounts and we can ask them to access the data by using those reader accounts. And in traditional RDBMS systems, if you want to perform change data captures, we need to make use of ETL tools again. But in Snowflake, we can do this easily by using a feature called streams. If we create a stream on any source table, it will be tracking all the changes happening to the table and we can easily integrate those changes into our base tables. And when it comes to scheduling, scheduling of our queries or procedures, we need separate scheduling tools like Autosys, TWS, and, Snow, and Airflow. But in Snowflake, we can easily schedule the queries and procedures by using TAS. TAS also supports the CRAN, CRAN job. So you know about the CRAN job. So we can schedule the TAS by using the CRAN command in Snowflake. So <clears throat> finally, what we can say, there are many advantages and benefits of Snowflake with less cost. So the organizations, organizations are moving towards Snowflake. Thank you, friends.